Did you know that uh, Darth Vader, the evil Sith Lord, is running for president of the Ukraine? But don't take my word for it, we've got video proof. Okay, well, he's got my vote. Um, all right, so this is actually only partially a joke. Um, so Darth Vader, this guy did run in 2012. Uh, he was not on the ballot, but he got 3% of the write-ins, which is completely insane. They threw that out because they don't even count the write-ins, but he did get 3%. That's a pretty decent percentage uh, for a Sith Lord. Uh, what are some of his political actions? Let's find out. In 2013, uh, he was carried in a sedan chair by a group of Imperial stormtroopers to Odessa City <laughs> Hall, declaring himself acting mayor of the city, citing an order by Emperor Palpatine. Uh, and as I said, he scored a record 3% of the vote in 2012 uh, parliamentary election, and the votes were never registered because they were uh, write-ins, uh, which rendered them void under Ukrainian law. But he actually, this actually is becoming something. He's running uh, on the Ukrainian internet party, and, uh, oh, and you'll love this. So to run, you have to get, you have to raise $236,000. The party has already done that for him. So yes, this is obviously a joke, and we can be jokey about it, but he's actually doing this too. So is this sort of what we needed to like get a little sense out of the Ukraine thing? Because everybody's talking about it here, and nobody's sure what's going on. Can Star Wars give us a little momentary Oh, yeah. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to politics. <laughs> I mean, I want to, like, you know, raise some money and then, you know, your big Golden Girls fan will yeah. all, you know, uh, try to run for election as her favorite Golden Girl. I, like I mean, that. there's so I many. I would vote for Betty White. Oh, my God, I would totally. For Secretary Rue. of State. I'd, I'd vote for all of them. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, I think it's, it's, uh, it's absolutely, it's so absurd. I mean, Putin is so absurd. The whole situation is so absurd, so why not have Darth Vader? It's amazing how James Earl Jones can throw his voice like that, really. It's really? pretty I mean, the guy's incredible. voice was, was pretty good. Speaks Ukrainian or Russian? What would that I be? I don't even I was like, well, what is it? Was it I, Ukrainian? I think it was Ukrainian. Nazdorovia. Um, That's all I know. Do you think Putin actually uh, envies this guy a little? He, Putin sort of would like to rule like Darth Vader, no, right? Putin, Putin is a badass. He just crushes people. Right. So I think that he probably saw this and he's like, you will destroy Darth Vader for me. <laughs> You know, like, he's right. even more evil. Yeah. Which yeah. actually made me think, like, the guy, like, the, it, would, it would be interesting if they got, like, a Mark Hamill look-alike and said Luke Skywalker is running. Then there's, like, the good. Ah, that could be kind of fun. Could, People are drawn fun. to the dark side, though, right? If you were going to vote for one or the other, you'd probably vote dark side. Well, they're all dark. I mean, the whole Bush administration, access to evil came. Yeah. It was all, it was all, yeah. it was all Star Wars. I, I, I honestly think that's how they explained it to George Bush, that, like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm serious. I honestly think that they were like, Look, this, okay, Saddam Hussein is like Darth Vader, and you are, I'm serious. <laughs> and he's like, I get it. He's yeah. like, I get yeah. it. Oh, wait, I see those films. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. evil. I get evil. it. Evil, yeah. yeah. You know what? Uh, well, in Revenge of the Sith, you know, there was the big line that Bush said about you're either with us or against us, and Revenge of the Sith, which came out after that, they said it. I mean, Anakin Skywalker says it to Obi-Wan Kenobi at yeah. the end. You're either with me or you're, or you're like my enemy. It's like Spaceballs with, you know, and he's like, are you still playing with your puppets, Captain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's exactly. Yeah, it's just now is Darth Vader is this like a third party or is it So just it's the it's the Ukrainian internet, internet party. party. But I mean they're actually raising the money. Do we need a little of this in our pol our political system? It's such a mess here. Do we need some like joke like either a comedian to run or something crazy like this yeah. to really didn't, didn't, uh, didn't uh, We've had a, didn't well we've had uh, what's his name in Minnesota? We've had Al Franken in Minnesota and, and uh, uh, Arnold he pa passed away now. Gary Coleman ran Ga for something. Oh, didn't right. he run for I think he did run for something. What's he talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that, was his, that was his, that his whole platform. <laughs> yes, we can. talk about taxes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can, Willis. <laughs> That was his whole thing. Uh, no, really, you talking about the ploy one percent. Do we need like something like that to shake up our system? It's so broken, right? Um, it's so interesting to me because like the situation in Ukraine is so tenuous and it's so, uh, it's really like we haven't seen this type of like aggression in in a in a long time. Yeah. You know, we've seen the aggression between like you know. 
you know, nor I was just about to say North and South Dakota, North and South Dakota. No, there's a lot of but there is tension. There's a lot going on there. And when will those North Dakotans let their people leave? I like how you tap Moz when you said that. Like you are from North Dakota. Uh, yes. You know, you know yes. what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you know, a country like taking over just flat out, like, oh, I'm going to take this right. land, and uh, you better be careful. We're going to put, you know our guards on your border and stuff. So it's so serious and it's so like, oh my God, what's gonna happen day to day that it's a little bit surprising to me that there is a Darth Vader like, oh, and hey, listen, we gotta, you know, and we also have Darth Vader. Right? So isn't like, that kind of inspiring it's, it's, though? Yeah, Doesn't I that guess seem like kind of great to so, I think yeah. it's great. I think Darth Vader should be in every election. Yeah. And yeah, I really do think that Darth Vader, <laughs> Darth Vader should, should run in every country. He should run in every country. Oh my country. God, He'd yes. For Darth Vader. Yeah. Um, it would be amazing. You know how many people, honest to God, you know how many Americans would raise money and would vote? They would. They, they would yeah. totally. They're so sick of both parties. Yeah. They're so if you If you had... Maybe like not a Darth Vader, but you if you had like an American folk hero. Right. Like, uh, I don't know, like someone like a little bit more positive than Darth Vader. An American folk hero, so like, uh, a, like a Ted Nugent. Listen, no. <laughs> not a, listen, I ran for eighth grade representative in junior high school, and I was the only one running. There was no one, so I had to win. I had to nice. win. I was yeah. going to win. Yeah. And I got all the votes except one person that had write in, and they wrote in Donald Duck. So I think if Donald Duck ran. Donald Duck Somebody ran. like that. Yeah, somebody like, like a feel Duck. good. I'm telling you, they would raise a lot of money and they would get really far because people are so sick of what's yeah. happening in like Congress. They're so sick of both parties. Like if someone, uh, I'm yeah, with if you. Donald I, Duck ran. Yeah, I believe it. Final thought on this. Uh, what do you think George Lucas thinks when he sees this stuff? Like he just had this idea around 1974, this little space idea, and it became this thing that is so beyond bonkers, huge culturally, yeah. now politically. You think he watches this stuff and he's like, this is some crazy shit. Oh, it's great. I mean, of course. Can you think, I mean, uh, like, you know, if, if you ever have, uh, you know, you, you do a TV show or you do a stand-up thing or, or you're on a show or something, somebody runs up to you and goes, hey, I saw you in, you know, oh, thank you very much, you know. I mean, can you imagine yeah, this, right. the level that this guy's yeah. at? There's, his characters ru are running right. for the, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. Right. He created a character that wanted yeah. to rule the universe, and now he has a guy actually running. Yeah. Well, how about Superman? Superman could run. For president of the United States, I mean, people love Superman. I'm into it. I think Superman. I think I, I think anyone. I mean, that's what if you did it like American Idol style. Yeah. You could end up with the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Like, is yeah. like if you get the like people we end voting. Up with the wrong people anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. like Christina Aguilera could be running the country because yeah. someone could be like, yeah. I'm voting. Well, we need a lady. There you go. I don't know about her, but Christina Aguilera, 2016. <laughs> there you go. Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs>